Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Brogue. Uh, this episode of Let's Play Brogue is a little bit atypical because in the last episode I started a game and I didn't finish it. I got to a point where I was looking at Commutation Altar, which you can see here, and uh, <coughs> I wasn't sure what to commute. So I asked the fine folks in Number Number Brogue on um, Freenode, and uh, none of them really had a strong opinion on the matter. I think that's the right game. I'll know as soon as we get it open here. Uh, I didn't get a lot of feedback on the question, uh, which normally I would have expected to get a little more, uh, but either it just wasn't good timing and nobody was really looking at the screenshot, or, or um, you know, Warnock applies. Um, but I think the larger issue is that it's just not obvious what to commute here. Uh, there isn't any really strong advantage to be gained. Uh, my big enchantment is in that plus six broadsword and there's no way I'm changing that um, but I think there is uh, something I can do here I think <coughs> that if I um, put that ring of transference on there and the tunneling staff I will end up with a plus four ring of transference and of course only slash three tunneling but slash three tunneling is perfectly adequate for any tunneling I'm gonna be doing probably and um, plus four transference uh, with the plus six broadsword um, I think is a significant improvement so that's what I'm going with And I'm going to continue from there. We're at depth 16, which for me is pretty deep. I'm in trouble. Let's blink. Okay. Two of them followed me up, which is good, actually. I don't suppose there's any blood board on this level. remember there being any uh, one of the one of the few things I wish was better about the map in this game uh, is that the parts of the map you're not looking at it's hard to tell if there's blood wart you know I never found any cage keys on this level and there are caged monsters and I never found any cage keys that's interesting. Because it would be nice, actually, to have one of those priestesses to heal me and my wraith. But I don't see where they would be. Unless it's here. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the cage key's hiding, but, uh, I only care so much. Allies are not really my favorite kind of build anyway. I had better just get away from there. <clears throat> oh. Well, that did not go as planned. I have intermission and I die on the very next level. Mm. Well then. Killed by a phantom on depth 16. I suppose. <laughs> In order to make the episode seem more full length. I should go ahead and do the daily seed. Why not? Uh, it is, at this point, Monday, January 7th, in the wee hours of the morning. I woke up early for no apparent reason. Sometimes that happens. And, uh... And so I am playing today's Daily Seed, because why not? and I, I knew there was a um, disappearing path there, too. I just sort of assumed I knew where it went. But sometimes it sidesteps. Well, no matter. back there. See if we can. There we go. Found an already burned spot to step on, and thus avoided any of the fire damage. Can't always do that, but it's worth trying. Okay. Um. Stealth, Transference, Wisdom, or Clairvoyance. Well, Wisdom is one of those ones that's only good if you got staves. So for now, I'm going to take the Transference. I 
And I still have another door key. Take the leather. Um. <coughs> yeah, part of my reasoning for taking the leather is that the rapier and the axe are both not necessarily better than the spear I'm carrying. Um, they do have the advantage, being from the vault, of being safe to equip. But honestly, I'm going to try the spear out because the risk with a weapon is lower than the risk with, say, armor or something of trying one from the ground. I think it may even be a lower risk than with a ring, although that's very arguable, because if you happen to get a weapon of mercy, that's pretty bad. But, um, that doesn't happen often. And if you only get, like, a minus one or whatever, a uh, minus one spear is actually better than a plus zero or even plus one dagger. So, so the potential payoff is there. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, with trying out a weapon. Um, and uh, I think that's often worth doing. Oh, that was quite a gauntlet there I had to get past. If there'd happened to be a kneel there, uh, might have been in some serious trouble. Rogue um, doesn't have the strongest reason for stair dipping compared to other roguelikes because if you have seen the downstairs, then if you happen to fall down to the level below, you know where the upstairs are. It, the game shows them to you. Uh, and part of the reason it does that is because the downstairs... Uh, the level generator tries very hard to place the downstairs near where the upstairs were on the level above. Um, something most roguelikes don't bother with. There we go. Uh, and so, if you're paying attention, you would have a rough idea where they are anyway. Okay, what are our options here? The weapon is a mace. I'm not going to take a mace from a vault. <coughs> Especially not when I'm carrying a warhammer. Although a warhammer can't be runic. But, still. Um... I'm wearing leather armor that I took from a vault. So until I know what that is, I'm not taking any more armor. Um, recharging charm is only useful if I have something to recharge. The Discord, even though it's only slash two, is looking like it might be my best option here. Either that or the Wand of Polymorphism. But I don't 
very often make it late enough into the game for polymorphism to even be a good idea to use. Um, you have to be pretty far into the game. You don't want to zap a wraith with polymorphism because odds are it will probably turn into something worse. Uh, you have to be far enough into the game that you're zapping something like a tentacle horror or a kraken at least um, before it's a good gamble. Um, okay, so I took the Discord. I will go ahead and mark it. Now, Wanda Polymorph uh, is honestly one of the better things in this vault. Uh, the Chainmail. Uh, might be a decent option if I weren't already wearing. Well, this leather armor I'm wearing could turn out to be plus zero. In which case, I might come back for the armor. Another piece of armor I can try. Although, armor from the floor is riskier. Because if you get armor of, say, burden, for instance, that is very difficult to survive. Unless you happen to know that you have a scroll you can use to get it off. <clears throat> okay, we'll pick up that mace. But unless it magic detects positive, I'm not equipping it. Okay, the leather armor that I'm wearing is plus zero. <coughs> Let's take it back. Potion, it's live. I'm gonna try out the ring. Oh, man, what can I get when I take that little armor back? I can get entrancement. I don't need the plus zero dagger that I started with.
Alright, is this where I'm going to trade that in? Nope. the armor up here, the starting armor. So, I'm gonna drop that. Sure, we'll take the entrancement, why not? There's an argument to be made for taking the rapier, since I'm currently wielding a plus zero spear. If that rapier is, for instance, runic, then it would be very worth having. But, if it turns out to be plus zero, I'm going to be wanting to come back and trade it again. And uh, I don't want to be back up on depth one again. Um, so we're going to take something that we're going to keep. Uh, let's try this. It's from the ground, so it's risky. But I'm gonna try it. Okay, it's not cursed at least. That means I can leave that one on the ground there and not have to spend another inventory slot. My ring of transference needs 86 more turns reveal its secrets, which means just about the time I get back down where I came from, it'll do so. Okay, it's plus three. Good. I'm keeping that. This level, while I'm here, is where I took the Discord. Do I want to trade that in? No. No, I really don't. Let's go. <clears throat> really? Do I want to go all the way around there? No, I don't. Kill the eel and swim across here. Because as annoying as dealing with water is, it's going to save me like 50 or 100 turns. There we go. Then we'll go this way. Discord that thing if there were anything else around, but there's not. <clears throat> Can't believe it didn't go off. Well, that's good.
kept worrying that jelly would set off that fire trap, but it didn't. I mean, I wouldn't have got burned, but the room would have. Plus three transference makes the acid mound not too bad by itself. Oh. But, um, still kind of scary if there's other monsters around. Alright. I gotta ID something. You know what? No, I don't. Let me just take the war hammer. No, I don't want to pop a bloat with it. I want to just drop it to the level below. Oh. And the mace also. Drop that to the level below. Anything else in that level? No. Onward and downward. Oh, my music stopped. We'll start that up again. Okay, my leather armor is leather armor of absorption. That's good news. Of strength. While well, I can take that and then drop something, but I need to test those two remaining potions I've got so I can pick up the warhammer, the mace, this food. Okay, that's three things. So, in addition to the potions, I also need to start testing scrolls. I'm not ready to test scrolls, but, you know, I suppose I could drop some armor that I'm carrying on the grounds that I have armor of absorption. How much better than that do I need my armor to be? Let's see. I swim across there. Oh, hallucination. Incineration, lovely. Um. Boy. I really have to wait out the hallucination here. That's going to be a long hallucination. Good thing that wasn't acid. But I don't have any potions of life, so...
And I don't want to test any scrolls while I'm hallucinating. Because if I happen to get Summon Monster, I will not know what I'm fighting. Even if it's... Acid, or... A Toad, or... I won't know. Um, and... In that situation, that's very bad. So I want to wait for that hallucination to time out. for one more item, but I need to pick up two items, ideally. So, I need to ID something, or else leave behind the other armors. Um, I think... I think I'm gonna leave behind the other armors. Because I don't think I'm really ready to start uh, identifying scrolls yet. Still had to pick up that food over there. Better go get that. That's the sort of thing you don't want to forget. It can make an actual difference in your gameplay. Okay. <clears throat> gotta be there it is Notice that I used the jelly to partially shield myself from the centipede so that I got several hits in on the jelly before or on the centipede rather before it was able to be adjacent to me. Um, that didn't last forever. I wasn't able to completely kill it without letting it adjacent, but I got several hits in. Uh, and the jelly is not a threat with the spear. And the transference, actually. The jelly is really, really not a threat with transference. Alright, the potion of life I want. That's priority. I better get that scroll too. Let's drop the mace. What am I gonna enchant? I mean, I could enchant the transference, I guess. I have a negation charm, so I could enchant. I could negate the warhammer. And then enchant that. I don't really want to do a Warhammer build, but 
If it's the best thing I've got, it's the best thing I've got. What other options do I have here? It's depth 7, so um, I could be facing enemies I can't kill soon. The spear gets me past any um, vampire bats I happen to run into, but might not do for an ogre. something here and I gotta test something there's a potion but I got a idea scroll at some point um well I've got one duplicate scroll other than the one I've got five of the one I've got five of is probably enchantment Uh, if I get a scroll of ID, what do I want to identify? And I think the answer's got to be one of those weapons. Because I need to know if I should be enchanting one of those weapons or holding out for something better. charm I can pick up if I need it. The food I can pick up after I do this. I think I want to hit that scroll that I've got a duplicate of. Hope it's identify. Um, and identify probably the warhammer. That's plus zero. Let's go ahead and identify the mace. This is unorthodox. Okay, the mace is worthless. I think most people would have spent one of those identify scrolls on that brass wand. Um, but if the mace had been runic, investing in chance into the warhammer would have been foolish. And so I decided to risk that. Uh, to spend the ID scroll on, on finding that out. Um, because I'm approaching the point where I'm going to have to um, invest in chance into an item that I don't really like investing in chance into but I'm not going to have a choice because this spear will only get me so far uh, I could invest into the transference but with a plus zero spear um, I'll run into something that can one shot me pretty soon here and yeah or nearly one shot me and no I gotta have a weapon so, um, I don't like Warhammer builds particularly. Uh, a notable thing about Warhammer builds that I don't like uh, is that um, things get free hits on you. Uh, and so you can't really dare ever fight a monster in a group. Um, if there's a group of monsters, you have to retreat to a corridor or you'll die, pretty much. Um, 
And there are times when that's just really annoying. So, like, here's a situation. I cannot wade in and hit one of those guys. Uh, I have to use the spear and do it slow. Was almost worth going around there for. Hmm. Didn't particularly think I would find anything there. But I had time to kill while um, the paralytic gas went away anyway. Okay. Upstairs. Very careful that Warhammer is going to get me killed. Good news is, I don't really have to be afraid of something like an individual ogre. Uh, because it'll go down in like one hit. That's the good news about the Warhammer. The bad news is, a group of goblins, for crying out loud, could kill me. is weird and abnormal. There isn't really any other build where you can easily take on an ogre, but a group of goblins can kill you. Enchanting. Better hit the Warhammer. If I'm gonna be committed to a Warhammer, I better be committed to it. Um, see those those Conjurer blades. If I hit one of them, the other one hits me for free. Um, twice actually, because it's already adjacent. Um, Why don't I discord the conjurer? Oh, because there's several conjurers, that's why. Uh, let's actually, let's discord him. And him. Yeah, 
see those conjurer blades. Uh, the transference is carrying me. But... Dang it. I want the spear. For this. Seems weird to use a plus zero spear when I'm carrying a plus six warhammer, but dang it. This tactical situation is just murder on a warhammer build. Discord that guy. Don't suppose I have another charge of Discord? No, of course not. Um, I know what I can do. I can entrance him. Why didn't he walk off the cliff? Oh, he got caught in a net. Times when an enemy getting caught in a net works against you. Alright, give me the Warhammer. There should be something in that northwest corner of the map, should there not? Yeah, that's going to be a problem this game. Vault. Interesting. I wonder where the key for that is. Alright, I gotta start um, trying out some scrolls. Here's as good a tactical position as any. Only two things would be able to attack me if I get um, summon monster. And that's about the best I'm going to do. Okay, my Warhammer is now protected. So I can use it against acid. Got Discord. Protect armor, that's good. Oh. 
only just barely made it out of that alive. Potion identification to do. <coughs> Claw off the strength. Is incineration identified yet? It is. Okay, so I could go like here. Oh, good. Detect magic. Um... Is there any situation where I'm going to want the flail? Um, I mean, it's heavier than the spear. But, if I want heavy, I've got the warhammer. Um, flail is tactically decent against ogres, but the Warhammer will let me kill an ogre. Um, I'm trying to think of the tactical uses of flails, if any of them are really going to be important to me with this Warhammer build. <coughs> <coughs> and I can't think of a good use case, so... Doesn't mean there isn't none. Just means I can't think of it. Oh, come on. There we go. Had to be careful not to step in the water and do that. Um, that was, I don't even know how I was supposed to escape that. Okay, thanks for watching.